Television personality Rob Kardashian attends the Sky Beach Club at the Tropicana Las Vegas on May 28, 2016 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Gabe Ginsburg, Getty Images. Rob Kardashian testified Wednesday that he feared for his life on a night in 2016 when his then fiance Black China pointed a gun at his head, pulled a phone charging cable around his neck and repeatedly hit him with a metal rod while under the influence of substances. She strangled me, she put a gun to my head twice, she was on cocaine and alcohol, Kardashian said, his voice rising nearly to a shout in a Los Angeles. Courtrooms China's attorney Lin Chani sought to cast doubt on the attack and its severity. China is suing Rob Kardashian's mother, Kris Jenner, and sisters Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian and Kylie Jenner, alleging they spread false reports of her, assaulting him in order to have her keeping up with the Kardashian spin-off Rob. During an emotional and contentious hour on the stand, Rob Kardashian grew angry when Chani asked him why photos and video from the days that followed didn't show any marks on him, despite his testimony that she had hit him repeatedly with a six-foot metal rod. Did you have as much as a band-aid on you? The attorney asked. I just told you it didn't leave a mark on my face. Rob Kardashian said, and the gun to my head two different times during the night didn't leave a mark to my Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian watched the testimony from the front row of the gallery, and had no visible reaction. China testified earlier in the trial that she was never violent toward Rob Kardashian. She said that on the night of December 14 and the morning of December 15, 2016, the couple had been celebrating the news that Rob. The all-night celebration turned into a bitter fight by morning, when he took her phone and shut himself in a closet, looking for evidence of communications. With other men, she said. She testified that earlier in the evening, she had wrapped a phone charging cord around Rob Kardashian's neck playfully because he was ignoring her, and picked up a gun he kept around, always unloaded, from a nightstand as a joke. The chain of events would lead to the end of the relationship and their show, Rob Kardashian, 35, the youngest of Kris Jenner's four children with the late Robert Kardashian, has kept a much lower public profile than his mother and sisters. He was mostly an off-screen character, and only occasionally appeared, on the family's reality show. He broke from the pattern in 2016, spending a year in the limelight before it went bad. Kardashian and China began dating in January, announced their engagement in April, announced they were having a child together in May, had their own reality show premiere in September, and had a daughter, Dream, in November. He testified Wednesday that he felt in retrospect that their love was never real, and that he had been at the weakest, worst point in his life when their relationship began. He said the coupling was toxic, from the start, and that she beat him at least five times during the year-long relationship. Strangling someone, beating someone, that's not a family, he said. That's not love, to me. Rob Kardashian wore a loose-fitting, untucked black dress shirt on the stand. His otherwise dark testimony drew a laugh from most of the courtroom when Chani suggested that two videos she showed were shot on the same day because he was wearing the same thing. That doesn't mean anything, he said. I wear the same thing every day. Rob Kardashian is not a defendant in this trial. China's allegations against him, stemming from the same incidents, will get a separate trial when this one is. Earlier Wednesday, Corey Gamble, a key witness backing up Rob Kardashian's account of the assault, insisted that he saw China punch him and whip him with a phone charging cord, as Chani tried to poke holes in his story. I said that she attacked him, testified Gamble, the longtime boyfriend and sometime co-star of Keeping Up with the Kardashians matriarch Kris Jenner. What I saw is what I saw. Gamble said he rushed to the house the couple was staying in after Kris Jenner got an early morning call from her son, who sounded deeply distressed. When he arrived, he said, China was holding some sort of metal rod, and threw it down. She rushed toward Rob Kardashian, whipping the phone cord at him then punching him. By the time she got to him, she started hitting him, Gamble testified. I was able to get in the middle of them too. I even got hit two or three times. Gamble said China threw a chair at Rob Kardashian's car as he was leaving, then attempted to pick up a table but Gamble stopped her. 
During cross-examination, Chani had Gamble read from a declaration he submitted in the case two years earlier, in which he said he arrived to find China. Hitting Rob Kardashian with her fists but made no mention of any of the objects. You didn't see sufficient to mention the metal rod, the cord or the table. Chani asked. I don't know why I didn't include those details, Gamble said. You may like. Play now in your browser. Hero Wars. Pipe. Sponsored. If you are above 30, this strategy game is a must-have. No install. Forge of Empires, free online game. Pipe. Sponsored. NRI in Thailand? By investing 18,000 rupees per mon you can protect your child's future. No more. NRI investment plan. Pipe. Sponsored. Learn more. This desktop app helps you write more effectively. Grammarly. Pipe. Sponsored. Install now. How would you react if Thailand got attacked? This game simulates geopolitics. Conflict of nations. Pipe. Sponsored. Play now. Foreigner born after 1948? Top expat insurance quotes. Pipe. Sponsored.